Hi, I'm John Kelleher. I'm the Defensive Tactics Instructor at Unity One Inc. And today we're working on pain compliance takedowns. Uh, it's really important that our officers out in the street, they, they know how to defend themselves, but they also important that they know how to do it safely, both for themselves and for the people that they're, uh, they might come in contact with. So what we stress during our Defensive Tactics class is redirecting the forces and then uh, taking people, if, if we have to take them um, into a handcuffing position, we do it in a way that reduces the amount of uh, impact on both the, the officer and on the person that's being handcuffed. So you're going to see today a series of techniques that uh, we've been working on for the past couple of weeks. Um, they've learned the basic techniques and today we're going to start adding the takedowns. All right, now we're going to work real fast. We did the universal disarm last time. Okay, we're going to show you a real easy one now. That was, okay, all of these disarms I'm going to show you guys are easy with respect to two moves tops, three moves maybe, but there's different categories of easy. That was easy because it's one technique you can use against a knife, a stick, and a gun. Mm -hmm. This technique is just easy because it's, but it really only works front or side. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, what's the first thing you got to do when the weapon's pointed at you? Get it out of your way. Before that happens. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Why? Because so you're going to use your hands to defend yourself. So you yeah, if your hands are down here, bang. it takes two, he can shoot me faster than I can bring my hands up. Okay, so you want your hands up here. Okay, what's faster, action or reaction? Action. Action is faster than reaction. Yeah, okay. So, what we're going to do on this technique, it's called push-pull, alright? Doesn't matter which way we do it. Let's, let's have a gangbanger stance here. Right. <laughs> Doesn't matter whether we push or pull. Oh, wait, okay. there we go. <laughs> okay. So, but think about this. Which would be the better way to push the weapon? This way. Why? To break the wrist. Break the wrist, why else? Because I don't want to end up doing this, and he takes it back. Uh, I guess okay. that makes sense. I was going to say. What would, <laughs> but, what would dictate me not pushing it this way? Or not pushing it this way, I mean. What would make you not push it If there's somebody over here. If Your Kim is standing here, here. Mm -hmm. come over here. You push it if up. I do this, and he shoots, she's dead. So in that situation, I would have to do this way, okay? Mm -hmm. All we're doing is we're just turning our hip, and we're pushing the weapon, I'm grabbing the wrist, and now I'm gonna pull and take the gun. Okay, okay? it's just push-pull. It's one, two. Okay, it works the other way. One, two. It works up, okay? This kind of deal. One, two, okay? Very easy, it's two moves, doesn't matter. By grabbing the wrist, I don't have the no, strength to hold it. It's not going to work this way. I'm going to show you something different for the back. Okay, it works from the side. Okay, one, two. Okay. It's not the back. So any other way, just not the back. Okay, what am I grabbing? Wrist. Wrist. The other technique I was telling you to grab the slide. In this, I'm telling you to grab the wrist. Okay. That is going to fire. Because he's got one in the chamber and his finger's on the trigger already. Mm -hmm. So be prepared for the bang. Bang! Yeah. Try that. Everybody grab right. it. Yes. All right. Come here, Amanda. Put your legs together. Where are your hands? Bang, bang. There you go. So I'm pushing you. Put it this way. Yep. Grab my friend. And Good. Now. Push. Pull it back. So. Pull it back. Is that your real, this is real subtle, so everybody. Watch my hips. Okay? My good. hips are giving me torque, which gives me what? Power. Power. I don't want my feet planted here because now I've lost, I have no torque. Cool. Yeah. But if I do this, and he came in, I can defend myself. Take the gun. Okay? We'll get your feet. Right foot back. If you were to take a regular martial arts class, you'd spend a year doing nothing but stances and footwork. Seriously. So if you're standing this way, you're turning this, and then snapping back. That's all you're doing. There you go. It feels like back. John, it feels like we're doing wrong. Or it feels like what do you I'm... say? So when I'm taking, am I pulling her back? Yes. Just... Okay. Push pull. Okay. I was like, it feels okay. You try to work at the Have speed and timing so you get as fast, up. as fast as you can. Okay, you, you pushed and you grabbed. <laughs> pull back hard. You're pulling me back. So you want to get so. her. Okay, when you're here, you want to get here, and now you so can actually do you this. Have the gun? Put it in your 
hand. Okay. Ooh, now I got so a wrist. I can take her down if I wanted to. I'm pushing. Okay. Or okay. then when I bring what you want to do? I mean, I'm, yeah, I keep the hand. When, after you guys have seized the weapon, okay, you want to get to the back, okay. Now, if, if you know a wrist technique, you can get her down. But you want to get to the back, away from her center line, okay. So you rather, and you want to get away on a line of departure where you're in a strategic position, okay? How far away are we gonna get? Six, eight feet at least. At least. 30. I'm yeah. I'm running. Or just run, yeah. Okay. I got your gun. Come on, sorry. I don't know what it's saying. I'm trying to be soft. Yeah. Remember we talked about zone, remember we talked about zone of sanctuary? This is a zone of sanctuary, why? As soon as this I have her center here, line. Hand is going to the gun. She, she can't do anything. Yeah. Anymore. Yeah. Maybe a back kick, but I have a gun. Back kick gun. Who will so, win? Uh, it's it's practice. Yeah. Okay. Don't even worry about that. Yeah. Just yeah. grab the gun and go that way. And go. Run behind, run behind me. Okay, if you're gonna bring back, <laughs> start stepping this way. Shoot. Push my body. If you're gonna let go of the wrist, push me so that I'm torqued and step. Start here. Start hands up. Hey, I'll do anything you want. Whatever you want. Okay. That's fine. If it slips, it slips. But that's when you want to step forward and run. Okay. No, wrong way. Push, 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 pull. Push, there you pull. go. Okay. Now, take your feet. Take your feet. Step here. 45. So that if I swing back to this hand, I'm gonna miss. You. Now step in. Now this feels weird. I'm really bad at this. Kind of stuff. Don't say that. My little brother is much bigger than you. Carry that that way. Well. Am I stepping oh, back? You're going and just go this. So you're going to go. Yep. Go back to again. Now, because I'm this way, it takes me. Push, to and now I'm just going to walk this way. But you're pulling. There's certain things you got to do. Yeah, I'm pulling yeah. her hand. That's to strip the weapon. Well, okay. <laughs> yes, you can. Okay, so like that, and I'm. Yes. I know whether or not it's loaded. Do you? Okay, try it to the head. Try it from different sides and angles. Nope. No, this one head up. Oh yeah. Okay. Push up. No, you don't have to step up. Yeah. That'll work. Now go up. No, no, no. Make sure you don't do this. <laughs> I've seen somebody do this. You're just getting a bit. <laughs> That's not <laughs> protected. Okay. Really good. You're here. It's so, up. Grab. Strip. There you go. Okay. And then as you're bringing it down, no, don't put your hand on Just catch it. Just catch it. Right? Okay. Up and then strip. So wait. Push the wrist. Push this. Then. Good. Kneel yeah, down? That, I, 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 okay. They're a little tall. So you're here, yeah. you're going up. Push to her head. Okay, grab the gun as it's coming down. Go here. And strip. There you go. Wait, and you're no, here. <laughs> down the gun. Gun. Go back. I just wanted to get that. I'm going to put a gun. Now, see, I'm the reason well, I grabbed still, the gun, she's got two hands on it. Using, she's got two hands on it, I'm not going to do this technique. Going up, okay. Twist your hips slightly. But do, do the two hands. When you come Doesn't down, it doesn't matter, the principle's the same. Up, and now I'm going to strip. But you're not doing as much as turning toward her. Okay. You're going to do this technique, one hand, okay? So you're just going to push up. And okay. you're still doing the same thing. Don't put your hand over the barrel. Right. Okay. But better lay your hand in your head. Side. You have to bring your hands up behind her head. Yeah. Like, oh my god, no. Yeah. Why did I miss the gun? So you twist your hips that way. Stay. Then when you come back, twist your hips off the ground and step. Okay, you're here. It's push, pull. Okay. Bam. Here we go. just two moves. They got obviously they have to be drilled and they have to be memorized. Thanks for joining us for our defensive tactics class today. Uh, we went over again. We went over pain compliance, takedowns, uh, submission holds. 
uh, safety is always our, our primary concern and that's why we're showing techniques that don't necessarily involve striking. We want to, it's redirection of force, um, locks and uh, takedowns that the officer has control over the situation easier and they all go to cuffing position. Uh, so you know, every week we add a new technique and uh, the officers build on from there. Um, thanks for joining us and uh, we'll see you next time.